you know what? Like, I was sitting here on my timeline and just going through like old posts. And I'm like, dang, this year just kind of flew by. Today's video, I'm gonna show you all start to finish how I installed, styled, and just put this wig together. Absolutely gorgeous if you are looking for a nice protective style, if you wanna give your hair a rest. Ah, girl, beautiful. This wig is a 13 by six jerry curl style. Not done a jerry curl in a long time. And I know when you think of jerry curl, you think of something that's like old school. Do this not look like my hair? So yeah, I did a few little hacks here and there to kind of change the curls and I'm gonna show you that in today's video so that you can know how to get this exact look. I'm gonna jump right into that install. You guys, thank you so much for joining me back for today's video. I don't have a set schedule anymore, but I try to upload three times a week. So if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. So going into the new year, you will not miss any of my upcoming videos. I'm very consistent, but I just don't have a set schedule going into the new year, but I try to at least upload three times a week. We got one more video coming up for this year before we jump into the new year and I'm very excited. Um, I'm wishing you guys the best, best new year ever. Let's get right into today's video. The links for today's wig will be in the description box. Check there. Let's jump right in. All right, so this is what the wig look like when you take it straight out the box. As you can see, it has more of a crimp type of curl, but this is a jerry curl texture. I got this in the length 18 inch. And of course that hairline is pre-plucked. Now this cap does come with a fake scalp. And it also is a 13 by six lace cap, so you do get wefts in the back. The knots on today's wig are not bleached. However, I am gonna use a lace tip to try to cover it. I could bleach the knots, but that would mean I would need to remove the fake scalp material. So yeah, we're gonna jump right into styling. So for today, I'm just going to use a water bottle and a little bit of leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna start by sectioning the hair. When it comes to these types of styles, you can get an instant style just by water and a little bit of product. So my goal for today is to create spiral type of curls in this hair. So I'm just going to wet the hair down, brush it through. As you can see, there's no tangles in this hair. And I'm gonna re-wet it until it's damp and then take my spiky brush and just rake the hair down. And when you go to rake the hair, you want to add tension because it helps the curls to clump and go into a spiral. As you can see, that's what's happening now. I'm gonna continue this process throughout the hair, section by section, and then scrunching the hair in upward motion. By the way, I noticed many of you didn't get a chance to watch my previous video. Definitely check out that video. I sh shared how I create my nails. Um, I also did makeup in that video and a hairstyle. If you like those type of videos, definitely go over there, give it a like, and leave a comment. So this is what the curl pattern looks like once you start to rake the product through the hair. And the hair is very soft. There's minimum shedding. I'll show that in a second. After I finish, you know, styling the whole wig, I'll let you guys see how much hair is in that brush. But you don't want to add too much product into the hair because you don't want it heavy. You just want enough where the curls can last for a few days where you don't have to do this every single day. And if you're wondering if you have to do this every day, no, you do not. This is a style that you will have to redo maybe once a week, just depending on if you're taking your wig off at night. Um, if you don't want to take your wig off at night, what you can do is put your hair up into a clip, um, put that sleigh band or that edge band around your hairline, and boom, it should last. But yeah, this is what everything looked like. I love, love, love the way it turned out. It's so pretty. Um, so what I'm going to do is dry it and as you can see the curls are now tighter and they're forming So what I did is take my dryer and I just held the curls in my hand Let the dryer sit on that section for about 10 seconds and then move on to the next section And I did that throughout the entire wig and it did not take long because the hair was not like dripping wet So that's another thing um, I would recommend is to just you know create this style with just a water bottle you don't need to go drench the hair unless you're washing your wig with shampoo and conditioner
now this is how much shedding i got out of the entire wig and that's actually really really good as far as the product that i use inside the water it is the shea moisture silicone free leave-in treatment it smells amazing and it just gives the hair such a soft feeling so if you want to use that product um, that's the product that i used and I will also put it down in my Amazon storefront. So if you are looking for any product or tool I'm using in today's video, I always put it in my Amazon storefront link that's in the description box, okay? So we're gonna prepare to install this wig. This part right here is totally optional. You do not need to put any heat on your curly wig if you don't want to, but I like to push that hairline back and make sure it's neat so that my application can install correctly. definitely loved about this hair is the bounce like it has so much body <laughs> it's just so pretty um and at the end of this video i'm going to give a more detailed review on this wig so if you want to know my final thoughts on today's wig style make sure to stay till the end but let's go ahead and install so i'm going to remove this lace before i install the wig normally i don't but i've found lately that it is a bit easier because you don't get that residue from the lace um being stuck to the forehead so i've been removing all of my lace now when it comes to installing my wigs so yeah we're gonna do that <laughs> now if you have not already go ahead and like the video give it a thumbs up and be sure to share this video and if you have not subscribed click that subscribe button let's try to get this video to 2000 views or more it will be highly appreciated you guys i I'm very consistent with my videos so I'm hoping that you are subscribed so you won't miss out on my content and so you won't miss out on any tips I am bringing to you guys because you all know like I'm like the queen of these wigs I do this all the time so yeah so for today's wig install of course I'm using the even sensitive spray I'm almost out of it this can is my favorite out of all of them I have three other cans and this one I tend to grab the most so that will also be linked in my Amazon storefront if you like it. Thoughts. the only thing I don't like is that the fake scalp material is way too light and you can see through it through the hairline will end up taking my fake scalp material out of the wig however you can get it dark I think this color if I'm not mistaken is the beige you would need to go on their website and check it out and see exactly what colors they offer but I believe this one is the beige I usually go for the tan color um tan slash dark you guys can check it out but girl i am in love with this jerry curl style it is so pretty it's perfect for your styles where you don't want to do too much for the winter if you don't want to you know be doing so much to your hair now the only thing i also would do is go back and trim off some of the ends because i do feel like the lengths are going up and down or make it a little bit more even you can also add some layers into this as far as the curls itself the product that i used was very minimum you don't need a lot of product normally i would wet the hair and then i would saturate it in some type of product it's easier to just put the product in the water shake it up and just squirt it through the hair like i did in today's video be sure to put this wig link in the description box i will also put it in the comment section from here on out because i feel like some people can't find <laughs> the actual description box sometimes because youtube changes a lot of things so it will also be in the comment section i will pin it for you all i absolutely love this style it is so gorgeous and the hair did not shed much at all um this is actually the wig straight out the box so i didn't wash it i did not want to have it really soaking wet especially it's cold outside it's cold as shit outside you know so <laughs> i definitely wanted the hair to dry in a timely manner everything will be in the description box the link also will be in the comment section you guys drop me some comments let me know what you think about today's style and thank you guys so much for joining me we're going into a new year i'm super excited for my videos and I appreciate all of you all still sticking with me, supporting me, sharing my videos, liking the video and all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much. Mwah.